I'm the biggest fan in the world of starting the game with the run, all right? Let's start the game letting our offensive linemen punch those defensive linemen right in the face. That's how you start a football game, being physical. However, there is a way to do it much more cost-effectively by getting your running back in the third round, paying him $1.2 million a year versus paying him $10 million a year. The value of running backs continues to decrease because the math is 100% complete on this. The analytics don't lie. Running backs don't affect the game as much as they used to. And their effect on the game is diminishing every year. The funny part is, I've been thinking this way about running backs since I played. I wondered, why do they pay all these guys all this money? There are only a very few guys in the league that are capable of actually making somebody miss on the front side, getting to the second level, making a safety or cornerback miss, and then taking him to the house. I mean, you could have the strength to break a tackle behind the line of scrimmage or at the line of scrimmage, the speed and elusiveness to make a secondary player miss, and then the speed to, like, get it to the house. Barry Sanders, Marshall Falk were about the only guys in the league that could do that. Everybody else was about average. The analytics prove that to be the case now. Now we know for sure. The math is 100%. You can get 85% of the performance out of a Pro Bowl running back in the third round. Yeah. Yes. Is Dalvin Cook better than your third round running back pick? Of course he is. No question. But not by much. All right? Dalvin Cook is worth, what, $10 million a year? Versus your third round draft choice is making $800,000 a year, a million dollars a year. So if you can get 85% of the production for a tenth of the price, why do you pay running backs the big money? Especially when the game is so physical now that you can't really expect that running back to last, what, three years, four years at the most? You know, the superstars may get six, seven years, but not many. Wait, hold up. If they only last for three years, then they don't even get their pension. So what's the point? That's right. But you do make a ton of money. Okay, you may not get pension as a running back. Okay, tough to get pension. All right, but you will get paid. All right, it's not a bad job to make one point two million dollars a year coming out of college. Not a bad gig, right? But the but the days of paying somebody ten million dollars a year for a running back are just gone. The analytics prove otherwise.